Okay. This is Somobola Steven, the host of Live Well Lift for Mobile Steven. Live Well Lift for Mobile Steven is the self improvement and personal development podcast. We occasion experts and professionals who are highlighting in these topics and we like to highlight topics that are disruptive uh, in nature, transforming your life 360 degrees and moving you from where you are to where we need to be. We have experts and professionals who like to share insightful, transformative, and inspiring. Sheet, mind sheet conversations that is going to blow your mind. Now, it's also very important for me to reiterate to the audience that personal development and self improvement is a lifelong process. We all must embrace in life in order for us to really have a transformed and fulfilling life at the end of the day if we don't give up. Today, I have Michael Sarasini, who is an entrepreneur and also a real estate investor. Now, Michael focuses on adding value to people through personal development and also on education, as well as adding value to land through strategic partnership and development. Welcome to the show, Michael Sarasini. Umbala, thank you for having me. It's great to have you on the show, Michael. Uh, you will be talking about achieving healthy retirement and how we can assert control over our future. Let's see how that goes. Uh, uh, the first question is, uh, why do most people do not retire healthy? Yeah, so I, I want to start, you know, in your intro, you talked about mindset shifts and seeing things from a different lens. I want to start by um, telling you one of my one of my guiding principles is never to use the word retirement. It's an R word around here. We don't say the word retirement. It is a bad word. And I'll tell you why. When you think about retirement, it literally means to be no longer of use. To retire something is for something to be useless. You retire farm equipment. You retire an old car that you're never going to drive that goes to the junkyard. But as human beings, I don't think we want to be useless. I don't think that's the goal. And so uh, I made the mindset shift about a decade ago to say, I never want to retire. I never want to be useless. Instead, I filled that void with something called Lifestyle Freedom Day. And at Keyspire, Lifestyle Freedom Day is the core of what we drive for our members. What is that? It's the day where you have lifestyle freedom. It's the day where your passive income equals your lifestyle expenses. Now, I'm not talking financial freedom. Don't ever say financial freedom again, too, because that that's that's garbage. That means nothing. I'll tell you, show you a lot of people that are financially free billionaires, but they're not happy. They're not fulfilled. That's not the goal is to be financially free. The goal is to have lifestyle freedom. And so I just want to I want to open up with my personal philosophy and our company guiding principle of the R word being a bad word. We don't help anybody retire to be useless. We help people reach lifestyle freedom day, the day where they can choose to have any lifestyle they want. And that's a day where their passive income equals their lifestyle expenses. And so I hope that was a good uh, a good explanation. But that is the way I look at it, Umbala, when it comes to what our ultimate goal is. No, absolutely. That's a disruptive in nature, uh, Michael. Uh, absolutely. Uh, so uh, we like to ask the like us to talk about uh, you, man, you emphasize not uh and um, focusing on early retirement. Now, should in case there is an early retirement, what are some key things we do we don't really know about early retirement and the good cha and challenges that comes along? Yeah, so I think that the challenge that people have reaching Lifestyle Freedom Day, there's a couple challenges people have reaching Lifestyle Freedom Day. Uh, number one is they don't have a plan. People generally don't have a plan. We're not born with this information. We're born as humans with the ability to learn how to do something like walk or learn how to do something like talk uh, for the most part. But we're not born with Lifestyle Freedom Day planning, portfolio planning. What does it look like to have cash flow at a certain point in my future? And so number one, people don't have a plan and they don't know where to turn to come up with this plan. And so that is that's number one. Number two, uh, and it probably is systemic for number one is most people are running the old model of, and, and I'm going to use this word a few times. I feel like I'm swearing, Umbala. I'm going to use this word retirement. People are running the old model of retirement from post-war, from, from 1950. What is that old model? The old model is you go to school, you graduate, you get a good job, maybe you go to college. And today it's like you go to college, you, you get fifty, sixty thousand dollars in debt. And if you do all that, you're going to get a good job. You're going to get paid. You're going to contribute to your 
your 401k or your RSP or whatever country you're in, your, your registered funds. And then one day when you're 65, it's all magically going to work out and the government's going to take care of you and your, your, your pension or your savings are all going to take care of you. The stock market's going to take care of you. And then people are surprised when they turn 65 or 60 or 70 or 80 that that just isn't true anymore. It doesn't work like that anymore. It used to work in the 50s and 60s. That's the old model of retirement. The new model of Lifestyle Freedom Day requires people to have agency for their decisions. What does that mean? They have to take control, take ownership of your decisions. And if you really want to reach Lifestyle Freedom Day, the day where you can choose to do whatever you want, then you have to educate yourself. You have to learn how to, how to put the pieces in place. We call them the portfolio building blocks at Keyspire. You've got to learn how to put the pieces in place in order to set yourself up for future success. You got to do work today for future results. And I think the third thing is people, uh, as humans, we generally love instant gratification. You know, it's, it's, it's physiology. We love to, you know, do something and then get that hip, hit of dopamine and we feel good. That's why, you know, addiction is such a pervasive problem is if we have a drink or, or something that we're addicted to online shopping or gambling, we get that hit of dopamine and we want the rewards now, but lifestyle freedom day doesn't work like that. You work hard today and your reward comes in the future. And that is really difficult for human nature to rewire that brain. Uh, but the people that can get that brain rewired, that can work harder and smarter today for future freedom, uh, the, the world is unlimited of what's available to them. And I've seen it with my own eyes many times happen. And so I'd say those are the three things that prevent people from, from getting to this lifestyle freedom day or this retirement early or at all. Forget early, Umbala. Some people don't get there at all. People are working in their 80s now. Absolutely. And uh, now, uh, you because you are a real estate investor, I would also like us to focus on this niche, on this uh, discussion. Uh, no, um, as a real estate investor, I want you to share your thoughts on real estate investing. Is it really one of the best ways to secure early retirement? Uh, what's your thoughts on this? Or we say lifestyle of freedom day, as you put it. So uh, to, to clarify the question is what what investing tool is real estate a good a good way to do it? Is that what sure. you, is that what you're asking me? Yeah. Okay. So um so I'm biased because I've been in real I got I got a disclaimer. I'm biased because I've been in real estate for 24 years. It's made me wildly successful, multimillionaire in my 20s, made other people multimillionaires. It's just done so well for me, my family and everyone who decides to be in this circle. So I am um I am biased towards real estate because I've seen it work hundreds of times on making people wealthy and getting people to lifestyle freedom day. So my answer is going to be Real estate is the absolute best vehicle in order to build the wealth to get to the income and the passive income and the cash flow that you want. And in fact, we're launching a book soon um, uh, uh, called Cash Flow for Life because that's really what we want people to have is cash flow for life. Every single month you get paid. Every single month you get paid with your cash flow for life. But really to think about is real estate a great investment? We need a relative measure. That means we need to compare it to other investments. So what are some other options you can have other than real estate? Well, there's the main, I'll call it competitor or main antithesis of real estate, uh, which would be the stock market, the public markets. So anything traded publicly, you got stocks, bonds, all of those things. So there's, there's that. And then there's real estate, private real estate. So there's two major um, things to invest in. But we know there's more things you can invest in. You can invest in cryptocurrency. You can invest in fine art. You can invest in watches. You can invest in private businesses and startups and tech companies, so many options for the person to invest today to create cash flow for life. But I'll tell you, real estate is the absolute best thing to invest in because number one, real estate is the only investment that gives you four ways to win. One of the first things that we teach our members, and in fact, we teach it in our free masterclass, is the four ways to win. Keyspire offers cash flow, passive appreciation, active appreciation and principal recapture that's paying the mortgage down. And all of this is paid by your tenants in real estate. And so real estate is the only investment that gives you four ways that you win. It's like a four-legged stool. If you don't get cash flow, you're still winning three ways. If the market doesn't go up in value, you're still winning three ways. Um, and so uh, the highest amount of return with the lowest amount of risk is always going to be real estate. But of course, Umbala, the caveat is you've got to know what you're doing. 
And that's the key piece there. You've got to get educated. You've got to have a group. You have to have a way in order to understand how to put this, these real estate, um, these deals together. I'm still talking about our real estate. And Michael, you provide our predictions and actionable advice about buying real estate. Now, is it really possible to make money with real estate without buying and renting? Without buying and renting, absolutely. There's so many different strategies in real estate. So uh, I'm going to give you one of the, the core principles that our members learn in their very first mastermind workshop, uh, and it's called the three investing streams. So most people think real estate is just you go and you buy a property and you flip it or you rent it. That is that is real estate world for most people. But that is a small fraction of what real estate investing actually is. And it really represents only one of the three investing streams, the property investing stream. So as a real estate investor, you can invest in property. That is, say, buying a rental property, buying a property and renting it out. Buying a property, fixing it up and selling it. That's a flipping strategy. Buying a property, fixing it up, and refinancing it. That's a flipping to yourself strategy. You can do lease options, sandwich lease options. You can wholesale properties. That means you buy at a wholesale price and you sell at a retail price and you make the connection. And often you need no money down for doing these types of wholesale deals or sandwich lease option deals. So that's all sits under the property investing stream. There's also development land. I have a development company and we buy land. We will, we'll buy a single family home on say five acres. We'll get it rezoned. We'll get a site plan in there and then we'll sell to a builder and we'll literally double the value of the property. The last property we bought for three and a half million, we put 1.5 million in and we sold it for 12.8 million 13 months later. So that's the development side of property. But that's only one third of the story. Most people don't realize there's two other investing streams. The second one is called private lending. So as a real estate investor, I can be the bank. I can take my cash and I can invest in a real estate deal that somebody else has by lending money to do a renovation, to acquire the property, uh, to maybe pay off some debt or consolidate debt and refinance with a traditional mortgage. So as a, as a real estate investor investing in private lending, I get the advantage of being fully passive. There's nothing for me to do. And I get the advantage of 8 to 12% return on my money. I basically become the bank at that point, or you become the bank, the person listening or watching. You become the bank as a real estate investor. Uh, and we know how rich the banks can be. Uh, we know the banks have all of the money and all of the, the power in the world today. So why not uh, model after something that's working? And that's only the second investing stream. The third way to invest in real estate is called private equity. This means that I want to be a passive investor. I've got a chunk of money and I can either put my $10,000 into the stock market and then get that gut-wrenching roller coaster of the up and down of the stock market. Um, or I can take that $10,000 or $50,000 or $100,000, whatever amount of money you have, and I can invest that in real estate through private equity. That means that I give somebody money in order to buy a property or to improve it, and I become a part owner of that property. So I share in all the profits, but I don't do any of the work. That's private equity investing. So that one of the first things that we teach our members at the very first mastermind workshop with Keyspire are the three investing streams. You've got property, you've got private lending, and you've got private equity. And I think this is one of the most unknown secrets when it comes to being a real estate investor that I think everybody needs to know. Thanks so much, Michael. Now, my audience, we really like to know uh, what truly inspires you to empower people to become property owners and investors like to share. Yeah, I mean, I love I I love coaching. I love um, helping people. Some people I meet, and some people in my coaching group, we meet every quarter. And some people I will never meet, like those great people that are watching right now. That I'm hopefully helping you. I'm inspiring you. I'm helping you get to that next level. But uh, I have a I have a saying called um, uh, collaboration over competition. And I like to collaborate with people. Just it's in my nature. I like to work together. I like to help people. I like to live in a world of abundance. And to me, a world of abundance is there's no limits on what I'm capable of. There's no limits of what I can accomplish. But there's also no reason to hoard information. There's no reason to not share the fact that there's three investing streams that everybody needs to know. Because in a world of abundance, there is more, there is more than enough to go around for all of us. And so um, when, when people make this mindset shift from scarcity to abundance, the entire world looks different. It's like going from black and white to color. All of a sudden, you're not limited anymore. You are unlimited. All of a sudden, you are 
you, you are not stopped at your beliefs. You are not, you don't have a ceiling anymore. The world doesn't become finite. The world becomes open. The world becomes free. And it's simply shifting from this idea of scarcity. I've got to hoard information. There's not enough to go around to abundance. There is more than enough to go around. So let's work together. Let's share. And that all of that is the reason why I love to do what I do, which is educate and coach people through real estate investing. It's why I started Keyspire 14 years ago. Uh, and it's why I absolutely love this company, growing this company and being here every single day with great people like you. Absolutely. Thanks for sharing that um, with my audience, Michael. Um, do you have any exciting news, perhaps any projects in the pipeline you are interested in sharing with the audience? Yeah. So we've got, so I'll talk about, um, uh, there's a couple of that. I'll talk on the, on the Keyspire side and on the real estate side. On the Keyspire side, we're just launching our book called Cashflow for Life. And what my team has done, they, they've put together a website where the people that I appear on their podcast, their audience can get it for free. So I wanted to offer that to your audience. This is the book Cashflow for Life. It's written by myself and my business partner, Scott. You might recognize him from the TV show Income Property. It's the longest running real estate investing show ever. Uh, it's been around for 15, 16 years right now. Now he's doing Scott's Vacation House Rules. Um, and we've taken all of our knowledge and everything we've learned on the show Income Property and we've put it into this, this jam-packed book. So you've got the, the charts and the tables and all of the information, the step-by-step -step and the action items. This book will walk you through step-by-step -step from absolutely knowing nothing about real estate to buying your first profitable property with the four ways to win. And so I want to give this to your entire audience for free. You just go to keyspire.com slash book offer and you're going to get this book cash flow for life absolutely for free. You could go on Amazon and buy it for 25 bucks if you want. I mean, buy it for 25 bucks would be great, but it's not the 25 bucks I'm after. It's getting this in as many people's hands as possible, this book. So keyspire.com slash book offer. Uh, on the real estate side, uh, we're building multifamily homes right now. There's a, there's a crisis across the United States and Canada and, and, um, even probably even other places in the world, but that's where our focus is in terms of housing people. There's no place to live. Um, there is no affordable housing. There are more people being made every single second and there's nowhere for them to live. And so we're focusing on solving that problem by taking single family homes and tearing them down and building four unit to 10 unit properties. So where one piece of land can hold one family today, that one piece of land can hold five to 10 families. So our mission is to literally uh, decrease the affordability and homeless problem by five to 10 times over the next five years. And so that's what we're working on on the real estate side. Uh, and that's really exciting. Pretty exciting, um, you see, uh, Michael. I wish you best of luck in this project and in subsequent ones. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Umbala. And um, uh, and I'm really excited to for everyone to get this information and, and for your audience to enjoy. Of course, of course. Thanks once again. Do you have any parting words you'd like to share? What what I would uh, one thing I will say for anyone watching who wants to you know get started in I'll talk about real estate investing. We've talked a little bit about the mindset shift of going from a mindset of scarcity to abundance, of going from a mindset of retirement, retiring and being no longer of use to having lifestyle freedom day, the day where your the day where your cash flow equals your lifetime, ex your lifestyle expenses. That's our philosophical or our mindset shift. But uh, if, if you're on board and you get it and you want to make a change and you want that future that you deserve, that you can have, then I would say the first step is to get educated. Don't just go out there and start buying properties because that's when people get into trouble. That could lose you tens of thousands of dollars, literally tens of thousands of dollars. There's a lot at stake. So get educated, get something like the free book that I'm offering you. Um, if you want a video training, you can go to our website. We've got some free video training. We have a masterclass that, that Scott has actually created for you. Um, and so get educated to start. And that's number one. Number two is get a group, get a community, a tribe, because you're going to want people that you're going to share your successes and your failures with. You're going to want a group of people that can support you because most people in this world won't support you. Humans like to be comfortable. We like to uh, status quo. We don't like change. And if you're going to make a change in your life, that's going to make the people around you extremely uncomfortable. And they're going to tell you not to do it. And often it's the people with the same last name because they care about you and they think they're doing, they're doing good for you. Um, but at the end of the day, you've got to make the decision for yourself. 
You need to find a group, a tribe, a community that aligns with your goals, aligns with your values, and that can support you on this journey because you can't do it alone. This is a journey of people, not of paper. Uh, so those are the two things I would say. Get educated and get a community. And those two things will give you the confidence that you need to go as far as you want. Right. Thanks once again for the motivation, uh, Michael. Michael Salcid is an entrepreneur and real estate investor. We're having you on the show, sharing your expertise on how we can achieve uh, a lifestyle freedom day and also a certain control of our future, focusing on real estate investment. Wish you best of luck once again, Michael. Thank you, Mbala. You too. Thank you. All right. Now, sure. If you'd like to catch up any of these episodes of the show, you can do so on any cross-promotion platforms or any podcast distribution platforms online. And do have a great time as you listen to experts and professionals share their thoughts on disruptive mindset conversations on any topics on the personal development and self-improvement. I am Mabala Steven. I need you to stay safe always. I got you soon. <laughs>